I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this puff shell stitch, which is a beautiful crochet stitch, lots of texture, uh, quite thick, and it is the same on both sides. It's very easy to work. It's a simple one row repeat. Once you get it set up, you are going to love this stitch. For this tutorial today, I'm going to use a little bit of 100% uh, cotton. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Line Brand, as well as a 5mm crochet hook. You can find the free written instructions through the link that's provided in the description of this video. They are on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a brand new free crochet stitch tutorial. So be sure to check some of those other tutorials out. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain for this stitch will need to be a multiple of five stitches plus three. So today I'm going to chain a total of 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the first or the second chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. For row two, we're going to skip the first two stitches and into the next stitch, you're going to work four double crochet stitches and one puff stitch. So one, two, three, and four and one puff stitch all into the seam stitch. To work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to repeat that three more times, all into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a loop. Once you have done that, you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Chain one and that's your puff stitch made. You're then going to skip the next four stitches and into your next stitch once again work four double crochets followed by one puff stitch. Chain one. Repeat that all the way across. Skip the next four stitches into your next stitch, work four double crochets and one puff. When you come all the way across, you're going to have three stitches remaining. Skip the f next two stitches and double crochet into that final stitch. 
chain three and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat this next row. For your row three, you're going to skip each of the next four stitches, so your puff stitch, you're not including the chain one, so your puff stitch, one, two, three, four, into the next stitch, just as you did before, work four double crochets, and one puff stitch. Chain one, skip the next four stitches into your next stitch, four double crochets, and one puff stitch. have one shell left here. Chain one when you come all the way across work one final double crochet into the top of that turning chain three. Chain three and turn your work. And that's all there is for this pattern. You're simply going to repeat that row three for as long as you would like, then fasten off and weave in your ends and that's all there is to working the puff and shell stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and if you happen to use this pro uh, stitch in a project be sure to let me know. Tag me on social media so that I can come on over and admire it. Until next time happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.